I'm Halalia Zulai of Talent Grow. I wanted to share a story with you that one of my clients told me where he was explaining how leading by example really helps when you want to engender commitment on the part of your staff. And when he told me the story, something about that story made me stop in my tracks. Um, it had an unintended consequence that Charlie wasn't aware of. So I'm gonna tell you the story and see if you can guess what the unintended consequence was for Charlie. And then we'll talk about how to fix that. So Charlie told me, you know, one of the things that bothered me a lot with some other managers I've had is that they tell you that you have to be committed and they tell you what you're supposed to do, but they don't really do, you know, they don't walk the talk. So I feel like it's really important to always lead by example. So he said, you know, one of the things I do to show my commitment and to show how hard I work is that I do work often. I work at night or on the weekend. And so what I do is I send emails at night or on the weekend kind of to show my staff this example of what you do when you're really committed. And he said, you know, it's been really successful because what I found is that my staff has started sending me emails at night and on the weekend too. So they're becoming more committed. Do you hear the part in the story that made me cringe? Well, in fact, when I talk to people on the flip side of that story, they're always talking about how they feel burnt out and they feel like there is this expectation that they work all the time. So when I ask those people, I say, well, does your manager tell you that you need to work at night or on the weekend? They're always saying, no, no, they never tell me that. But because they do it, I kind of feel compelled to do it too. And Charlie's face changed colors when I was telling him this and he said, well, yeah, I never told them to do it and I would certainly not want them to be burnt out. Only if they already do it or if they want to do it on their own, then that's great. But my gosh, that's not my intention. I said, I know. Sometimes when you lead by example, you're, you are leading them to follow your example, but there may be unintended consequences. So if, for example, you don't want people to get burnt out, which we know is what's going to cause them to become disengaged, these very people that are hard workers whom you want to be become more committed to the organization are actually going to start becoming less committed and possibly leave. That's not what you want. So if you have something that you want to send them at night or on the weekend, but you don't want to send the wrong message about that that is something you expect them to do, maybe you can just you can write the email and then set it to have a delayed delivery, which is a function that most email programs allow you to have, where it's sent to them first thing in the morning when they're there at the office anyway, instead of being mailed when you wrote it. So you can write it when it's convenient for you, but you avoid the unintended consequence of it being received at night and creating that wrong intention or that wrong impression. I hope that this story generated some ideas for you about how to make sure that you're leading by example, but not setting the wrong example so that it doesn't backfire on you. If you want more of these kinds of helpful tips and ideas and stories, I hope that you'll sign up for my free newsletter that is a great way for us to keep in touch and for me to let you know both of tips that I only put in the newsletter, as well as these kinds of updates via vlog or my blog, which help you become a better leader, a leader of yourself and a leader of others. Thanks for tuning in.